Hey there everyone, Chief Meteorologist Norm Van Ness here in the NBC 24 Weather Center with a preview of what we'll be covering tonight on NBC 24 News at 11. Let's first go ahead and take a look at the radar and satellite picture. Had a few snow showers pop out there. These are mainly downstream snow flurries uh, coming off of Lake Michigan. You can see the clouds build in as we go through the day as well. Uh, into the evening, still a chance for a few snow showers and then we'll uh, clear things out again and that's going to get us pretty cold overnight. Uh, do note, off to the west, some of those snow showers moving across across parts of uh, the Dakotas uh, coming out of parts of Nebraska, pushing into Missouri and Iowa. That's kind of the leading edge of the warmer air. They'll be moving in tomorrow night. It'll warm us up pretty significantly as we head into the day on Saturday, at least compared to where we have been. High temperatures this afternoon, mid to low single digits. All the better we were able to do. Wind chills, as mentioned, were uh, below zero all day today, and they'll stay that way really through tonight as well. A uh, few early flurries possible this evening. Then we'll clear things out and just get cold cold once again. Uh, record territory low temperatures going into tomorrow morning down around 9 10 below for an air temperature. But again, even with a light breeze, those wind chills will be even colder. Now, as we go into the day on Friday, we'll call for partly sunny skies, uh, cold conditions, snow showers building in late in the day, either late afternoon or maybe even toward or after sunset. High temperatures about 11 degrees, but once, once we get up there in the afternoon, we'll actually see those numbers start to climb as we go through Friday night and into the day on Saturday, where we'll top out in probably the low 30s on Saturday for high temperatures, but it's going to come at the price of some snow. We'll break that down for you tonight as well. Make sure you're with us on NBC 24 News at 11 o'clock.